Here are 25 easy ways that you can improve your life today. Yeah, these come straight from Reddit, and I'll tell you this. I personally have adopted some of these tips that I did not know prior. For example, Andrew, sea salt hairspray, putting bananas in the fridge, mobile passport control app. Oh, so let us know which one of these you guys could incorporate into your life as we get into it. 25 quick ways to improve your life. Let's go. All right. Point number one, Andrew, windshield wiper your body before you get out of the shower or bath. So many people are dripping so much excess water when they get out of their shower. It's all over their floor. But did you know you can actually wipe it off your body? Yeah, I initially? do that. I've actually been able to do that. I think it wipes off easily 20, 25% of the did water. Did you know this before Reddit? Yeah. And then you you go in the hair and then you just shake your hair a little bit. You don't rub your hair too hard, but you just shake off that because your hair is going to keep a lot of the water. So. And then guess what? Your towel stays more dry so you don't have to dry off with a wet towel because yeah. it's not waterlogged. Plus, it sounds kind of cool because you go... Windshield wiper your body. Point number two, Andrew. Bananas last up to two weeks in the fridge and almost freeze their status the moment you put them in the refrigerator. Most people leave bananas out potentially even in the sun they go rotten super quick right now listen david i'm not a uh what a f biologist or a fruitologist whatever it is um i uh, bananas grow in warm weather <clears throat> so think about it. if you put it in a fridge that's like 37 degrees 38 degrees fahrenheit that's pretty cold for the banana essentially in my opinion that banana probably just thinks it's freezing at that point, because it's from a hot weather place. So essentially, it's frozen. That's my logic. Right, right, right. But make sure you don't put hyper green bananas in the fridge because they will pretty much freeze in that green state. Ah. Point number three, Andrew, use the mobile passport control app when traveling internationally and returning back to the U.S. It actually is even faster sometimes than global entry. Yeah. And this is a new thing. You have to download mobile passport control. Right. Point number four, if you're traveling overseas, use a handheld translator. It's much easier than using your phone. So a lot of people, when they travel overseas, Andrew, where do they go to? Google Translate, various apps located on the phone. But here's the problem. You use your phone for a trillion things, mm. taking photos, taking videos. You're responding to emails. You got social media on there. Why not get a standalone translator? Right. Yeah, it makes it easier. And these translators are not very expensive. What? $150, maybe $100 for oh, a good that, one. That's on the high end. On the low end, maybe like 50 bucks. Guys, translator technology is really good. No longer do you need the little booklet. You know, people used to have the booklet maybe 15 years ago. This is just the device that you speak into and it will translate it into whatever language. Uh, somebody said, when you don't want to say no to somebody, just say, let me check my schedule and get back to you. Well, you better have a schedule or be somebody who's known to have a schedule to do this. But yes, I understand. Like, let me get back to you kind of means I'm thinking about it, but I don't, it's not that important enough for me to lock it into my calendar right now. I use this one on people who always want me to travel a really far distance for something that's not that important to me. Right. Point number six, if you shower twice a day, you only need to wash the hot zones. Literally, you do not need to wash anything else that's not a hot zone. A lot of people are soaping up the rest of their body that doesn't even have dirt or sweat on it potentially stripping their body and hair of necessary oils. Yeah, I definitely don't shampoo my hair every day, but uh, the hot zones being what? Your ar armpits, your private parts. Some people say the back of the knees too, because yeah, the back of the knees is a little bit like the armpit of yeah, your leg. And you should probably wash your face. Just wash the hot zones. I actually learned this from Reddit and also Jason Kelsey, the uh, NFL player. He used to, he's a big proponent of it. Um, point number seven. If you are a guy and you want to style your hair, but you're also feeling lazy and you feel like a lot of hair styling products like rip out a lot of your follicles, there are new low buy-in sort of styling products such as hair lotion, leave-in hair conditioner, or sea salt spray that gives you some sort of messy stylized look but you can almost just leave it in all day and not worry that it's uh, damaging your hair with a lot of chemicals. Right. I am a huge fan of this. Andrew, what do you, how do you perceive this? Because I know you're more of an intensive hair product guy. Uh, I use styling powder right now, but I've tried the sea salt stuff before. It's not bad. I would use it too. No, no, no. We're off the ones that's ripping out 100 follicles every time. What was the Japanese brand we used to use? Gatsby. 
Oh, that, that'll Gatsby's destroy rough, your hair, man. guys. Ah, Listen, it will I can't use the hair your... glue anymore. It's crazy. Uh, point number eight. Frozen vegetables are oftentimes very cheap, convenient, and packed with potentially even more nutrients than fresh vegetables. Andrew, explain the science behind this. Well, uh, vegetables are frozen in their state. And when they're frozen, the nutrients are actually in there versus being dried out over time. So Same when they're flash frozen. Yeah, yeah, flash frozen, obviously, frozen quickly. And then also, um, when you want to cook it in the air fryer, make sure you... You do kind of have to thaw them though. And so that the water melts and drips out because you have to wash off the water because the when they're frozen, they have extra water in them so that if you air fry them, they'll be wet and then there'll be a bunch of water in your air fryer. Right, right, right. You do have to drain the water from your air fryer midway through if you actually want crispy frozen vegetables. But, you know, they are, especially for guys who don't eat a lot of vegetables where they're not used to having a bunch of vegetation in their refrigerator constantly being like refilled and spoiled and being yeah. used. It's like a good way where it's like, oh man, I just need to get something healthy in. Yeah, no, definitely. I think keeping a pack of frozen broccoli or some green peas, some, some cauliflower on hand in your freezer is not a bad idea. Point number nine, Andrew. A lot of guys, they said that their dads don't teach them this, but they found out later in their life they needed this, especially in the summer months or if you're like a bigger dude, like potentially uh, you need to powder your balls. Mm. I would say this is a huge thing, yeah. especially if you got big thighs or you live in a hot climate, you walk a lot, you work any sort of like manual job or even any job, even at the office. Yeah, no, I've uh, definitely noticed, you know, having a uh, certain underwear helps. They got some new underwear that has like a compartment just for your sack, which is interesting. So I got to try those. But uh, yeah, powdering your balls is the easiest, cheapest way to do it. Um, they sell all different types of powder, uh, but you don't need the fancy ones. Yeah, it really depends. I mean, you might need a fancy one if you have like specific conditions where you need the premium one with all the aloe and things like that. But yeah, I think a lot of guys, their dad is not going to like sit them down, have the birds and the bees talk, and then the powder of your balls talk. That's something you got to learn on your own. Uh, point number 10, Andrew. People spend all this time watching fitness channels, but they could be ripped if you just did a few different activities. Basically, someone said squats, dips, deadlift, pull-ups, bench press, and literally that's it. You could get completely ripped if you did those four or five things. And I think one thing that I've learned is that if you do have access to an expensive commercial gym, Andrew, they actually have universal versions that are a little bit easier to get into. Yeah, I don't think a hack squat is gonna give you the same benefit, but a lot of people, Andrew, it's not between like regular free weight squats and then uh, um, hack squats. It's like hack squats or nothing. Mm. So I always say it's a little bit like floss picks versus floss. I do think regular flossing might be better than floss picks, but floss picks are designed for people, Andrew, where if floss picks didn't exist, they're not going to floss. Right. So at the end of the day, guys, doing something is better than nothing. I use the machines for uh, lifts I don't enjoy doing. Point number 11, Andrew. Um, I just use one toiletry bag and I have all my bathroom stuff in it. I hang it in my bathroom. And when I go on the road, I just take the same toiletry bag with me. Oh, trust me. David is a creature of convenience. So all you guys out there that want to keep it super simple for yourself, this is not a bad idea. You know why this is a good idea? Because you don't have to have a travel bag and an at-home bag. It's just one bag. Mm. Point number 12, Andrew, stainless steel can remove the smell of garlic from your hands. A lot of people don't know about the sulfur compounds in garlic binding to the steel surface. So basically, if you can find steel, you can get a lot of stuff that even soap can't get off your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen people use like a big stainless steel spoon to kind of do the same thing. Obviously, if you have, if you cook a lot, you're going to want to buy that stainless steel uh, like bar of soap that you kind of like hold on to. Right. Point number 13, completely cut out 24 hour hyperpartisan propaganda news and your stress and anxiety levels immediately have. Turns out it's all BS designed to make you angry and unhappy in your life. Dang, kind of true, kind of true. Yeah, I mean, most people, Andrew, they make a lot of money off making people angry and unhappy because guess what? The human emotions and the way the triggers work mentally and psychologically, you want to watch more when it does something to you. Right. Same way people watch uh, horror movies. Point number 14, Andrew. 
Life is all about flow like the ocean. That is why you have to like constantly center your mind and meditate. Mm. Basically, I'm going to leave this comment up, but basically it's like uh, you just got to understand all these analogies about your life. Like life is not just the way you think about it in your mind and it's not just the voices in your mind. Life is a little bit like an ocean. That's why people practice meditation, mindfulness, but different people from different cultures and different life experiences, they meet, may need different activities that they respond to more that center them as an individual more than it would center another person. Point number 15, Andrew. If you use disposable food items, for example, Andrew, you can cook within a foil container. You could marinate within it in an air fryer, you can marinate, cook, and eat out of one container. Mm. What do you think about this? I mean, a lot of people, they don't know the ease of air fryers. Yeah, it works. It works, people. It works. Point number 16, lettuce wraps for burgers still taste pretty good. A lot of people in America, Andrew, getting real fat. But what? What is the number one American food? Cheeseburgers? What if we cut out the bread? Yeah, I think lettuce wraps are going to get more popular. I know that they look funny. They're a little bit harder to hold. They are a little bit more messy because you don't have the buns soaking up stuff that you can hold on to. But I will tell you this, it is better for you. There's no carbs, just cheese, a little bit of sauce. You got all veggies on there. Technically, if those fast food spots, if they are telling the truth that it's an all beef patty, then it's kind of healthy for you. Right, because listen, guys, any sort of starch or carb, if you don't burn it off, it will convert to sugar eventually. So you might as well just eat a dessert at that point if you're going to eat a bunch of bread and not exercise. Here's In-N-Out, Shake Shacks, Wendy's, McDonald's, and Burger King. They're a little bit lagging behind in the protein style section. Point number 17, always leave them wanting more. When you are having conversations with family or friends or random encounters, Andrew, don't keep talking until other, somebody needs to go be the person who has to cut off the conversation at the peak. Mm. What do you think about that? Leaving on a high note, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I could see that. I mean, especially like, uh, uh, I, I think the reason why you would want to do this, especially is if you're like a single guy and you want to have like cool conversations with people, but you don't want to say too much because sometimes, it, you know, you, you stick around long enough to see the conversation get awkward. And you're just like, hey, that was, you know, in your mind, you're like, that was a good point. That was a good conversation. All right, man, I'll see you later. Right. All right, hey, like, you know, you have a good interaction with a lady and, you know, you just want to leave her thinking about you. Yeah, you ever seen a movie that just was like 20 minutes too long where you're like, this would have been fire if it ended 20 minutes ago? Be that, but for your the natural arc of your conversations. It's just like a storyline like any other show or movie that you're watching. Point number 18, Try to spend a uh, time in the sauna, whether it's a dry sauna or a steam room. I, I'll just say this, man. I think that the sauna is one of the biggest things that Americans could adopt from Europe or Asia. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of Americans do not really embrace the sauna life, whether that's the, uh, the steam room or the dry sauna, but we need to. Uh, it gets your blood pumping. It's just good for your androgen levels and all types of different stuff. Point number 19, Andrew, do not drink your calories. You could drink 150 calories or even 450 calories at the top end, you know, your most craziest dessert drinks at Starbucks or Boba's and not even feel full or have your appetite satiated at all. Yeah, man. Drinks will kill you, man. No, I'm just kidding. But like, yeah, I mean, essentially you can easily pack on calories. I mean, even one soda is like 120 calories. Uh, so... Just be mindful of it. I mean, you know, listen, drinks are good. Everybody loves a good drink. Sometimes you need one. You need a refreshing uh, 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 taste, but ultimately, that's not how you want to pack on your calories. Listen, guys, you guys are much better off eating a ribeye steak, as crazy as it sounds, even if it's a fattier cut. Like, literally, because it's going to satiate your appetite. The sugar drinks, they don't fill you up at all. Number 20, don't just think of money when you're eating out. Think of the calories. So basically, Andrew, when people are eating out, oftentimes you see the cost of the food, how much it costs monetarily, but you don't think about how much that food costs your body mm. because you don't have a calorie budget for the day. Wow. You just have a money budget. Some people don't even have a money budget. Usually the people who don't have a money budget, Andrew, they don't have a calorie budget either. Point number 21, try to keep your keys, wallet, and phones, and just everyday things in a organized container. Right. Um, they sell organizers on Amazon for your car, for your house, for your wall. 
I think for me, I carry my Bose, Bose Ultra earbuds with me on my keychain, so I always have them with me. Right. Point number 22, for a lot of drinks that suck, all you need is a lime packet or lime or lemon juice in there, and it'll taste twice as good. Yeah, I like this a lot, uh, even using the crystallized true lime or true lemon, or they have different fruits like grapefruit. Um, you can use the liquid one that is real fruit, and uh, you just squeeze it into your water or any drink that you want to have a lemon zest and you don't have like a raw lemon on hand. These are great, man, honestly. And they still give you a little bit of vitamin C. They really, do. I'm not saying it's a significant, you know, amount, but I just feel clean when I drink lemon water. Yo, somebody invent uh, cucumber powder too so we could do lime and cucumber powder. Point number 23, if you are depressed at all at any sort of level, even at a minuscule level, start going through the steps to fix it. So for example, uh, Andrew, just in a lot of things in life, there's three levels, right? There's low, middle, high. For example, if you are like have a light depression, you might want to try exercise in sunshine, different foods, vitamins, chocolate, berries, you know, some mood boosters, okay? Mm. If you have the middle tier of depression, you might want to see a psychiatrist, try other things, maybe acupuncture, try way more vitamins, light therapy, cold therapy. Mm. There may be other things that are more intense that you need to try, right? If you're going through high level depression, you may need to go get a prescription. You may need to go see higher end therapists that have like more extensive, intensive treatments at their disposal. You might need to go on a retreat, try ayahuasca, something. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is it's not any different from basketball. If you're going against a low power defense, you don't need to try that hard on offense to still win the game. Mm -hmm. If you're going against an crazy defense, you better have a crazy offense to counteract that. Right. Point number 24, I buy, uh, try buying a cushion top for your toilet seat so you can use your toilet as another workstation command center. Whoa, I will say this is a controversial one because I feel like most medical professionals would advise against this from sitting on the toilet too long, unless you use your toilet as a seat, but to sit on the toilet pooping for too long, that is not good for you, right? Right, I don't know. See, you got to pop it up, but I'm just saying people are doing it regardless. So yeah, you yeah, might yeah. as well, if you're gonna do it, you might as well put some cushions and make your bathroom upgraded into a workstation if that's the decision that you're making. Uh, point number 25, put everything for a singular hobby or activity into one spot. For example, if your gym bag's always ready to go for basketball, lifting weights, boxing, you're more likely to go and do it. Yeah, I would just say have weights around the house, man. Just a little 15 pound, 20 pounders, really good. You'll pick them up, work out throughout the day, easy. Make working out part of your lifestyle. Make it organized. Make it convenient for yourself. The easier it is to do it, the more organized it is, the more likely you're going to do more of it. Right. And so, I think the more it's in, within your line of sight. Yes. Like a lot of times for me, like I got eye drops. I got vitamins like in multiple places, not just one place because oh, I can just walk by and be like, oh, yeah. Like you said, dumbbells. They're just sitting down near your TV. You're watching Sports Center or whatever, whatever show you're watching for 30 minutes. Oh, man, I just put in a 30-minute dumbbell yeah. workout. So let us know in the comments down below which one of these life hacks you are going to be using, which one of these are interesting. We definitely use some of these. Um, and I would say, honestly, all of them sound pretty logical, you know? I, I think it's hard for someone to do all of them, but I'm sure someone out there does. Yeah. These are all real things. And I think it's really important because on this channel, we talk about a lot of bird's eye macro, like top down view stuff where I think it's all legitimate, all the discussions we're having, but sometimes people are like, but what can I do? I'm just a normal person. I'm just little old me in a village and I'm a shut in or whatever. I mean, you know, different people live different lifestyles. This is stuff you can incorporate right now. And maybe once you make a difference in your own life, you could think about and have that optionality to think about making a difference in the larger scope, if you want. Anyway, guys, let us know some other life hacks in the comment section below. Reddit, always useful. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace.